At the start of the movie, a dead girl Emily Rose comes on the scene. People were giving their viewpoints about her death. Her teacher says, her death is mysterious. Church father exaggerated a story that she is possessed by the demons. So he practiced exorcism on her. It means, he used to recite the prayers to expel the demons. And father is guilty of Emily's death. Now this case news had spread all over the city. A lady lawyer named Erin is hired to deal court case of father. Erin was not willing to deal this court case. But it is proposed that she will be promoted to the senior partner on condition of winning. So she agrees to deal this court case. Now Erin visits father. Father says to her, I will reveal to the world about everything that Emily faced. Now lawyer visits Emily's mother who tells her that she was very amiable, jolly and scholastic. Getting scholarship, she went to city for more education. The trouble started from that time, everyone had come in the court. And another lawyer speaks against father who is hired by the teacher. He tells, Emily is dead due to the father's practice of exorcism. There is a cure of everything, but father practiced exorcism, getting her treatment stopped. She could survive if he avoided it, there is a sitting lady who had come there as witness. She reveals that when Emily had gone for study in the city and residing in a hostel, at the first time, she was attacked by a demon. One night, everything was occurring mysteriously when Emily wakes up at 3 a.m. Doors were opening and closing by itself, and Emily's house's clocks had also stopped working. Then she feels the burden of demon and also feels agony in her body. After this, Emily's condition began to worsen, then she exposes all to her mother and this lady. Then a doctor tells, I was treating Emily. She used to hallucinate, father wrong to stop her treatment. So father is guilty of her death. But lawyer Aaron speaks out on it. What were the body scars and the felt agony? Why did you not treat her properly? She was not insane, but possessed by a demon. Father was arrested by the police. Then Aaron again moves to meet father. Father advises her, you will also have to be alert. Here it is known that those demons were in the hostel. Bringing into the hospital, Emily had also viewed demons in the sky. She was also witnessing demons in the other human beings. Then Emily's friend exposes, her condition had gone worse after these apparings. He says, she used to shout and weep a lot. Once, she had said to me while crying, never ever leave me, so I never left her till today. I will tell truth about what she had been faced. Now Aaron had started to sense all these things at 3 a.m. Her house's clocks had stopped working and doors were closing by itself. On the opposite side, father also faces something unpleasant. And he sees a demon, but that demon disappears when father recites prayer. Erin was very irritated because of it, and she loses her sleep that night. She has got late to reach court, waking up in the morning. Father says after seeing Erin's condition, I had suggested you to take care of yourself. You will have to be more careful because demons will try to assault you. Another lawyer presents another doctor and she is favoring father. That doctor also says the same as she was suffering from the mental health disorder. These were her superstitions, having mental illness. Immediately, Aaron speaks, I know that neither she was insane nor superstitious. Because she was getting weak with the passage of time, she had many scars on her body. She tells, father was helping her to evict the demons. Afterwards, it is shown that Emily's friend and father take a stand. They say, Emily was taking medication if she suffered from any illness. Medication may affect her positively, but she was falling ill day by day. So we also aware that Emily had not any mental health disorder. Rather, she had been possessed by some of the demons. She had started to be afraid, killing her appetite. Emily's friend Moore tells, once she was staring at me lying down on the floor oddly when I woke up at night time, and her eyes had turned into black. Then it is shown that Emily's sister goes outside to see her on a night. Then Emily is eating cockroaches, sitting in the kitchen. Seeing her sister, she starts to scream loudly, and she begins to scratch the wall with her nails. She had absorbed much power that cannot be imagined in the human beings. Father was also called, and Emily is also conversing with them in multi-languages. Next day, scene takes place in court, Erin calls a lady doctor. That lady doctor used to investigate the supernatural events scientifically. She tells, exorcism practice was best for her and she had not any mental illness. 
but doctors had disabled her brain activity at that spot, calling her mentally ill. As a result, exorcism was not affecting her. Now Erin meets a doctor who tells, I was also there during the practice of exorcism. And he says, I had detected that either exorcism affects Emily, or not. And the practice was started later. Erin thinks, father's allegation may be removed if she knew it before. Being present there, doctor was witnessing everything. Then father may not be put under any allegation. Now Erin moves to father in fury and says, why did you not reveal it before? Father says, doctor himself had restricted me to keep him away from this. But doctor himself exposed when he noticed that father is being put under the allegation. The doctor also tells, Emily was being regulated by six demons. We had a tape recorder while practicing exorcism on her. We recorded the sounds of demons in it, and he hands over the cassette tap to her. Then it is shown that Erin hears the frightful sound at 3 a.m. She observes while waking up that these sounds were echoing from the tape recorder. She is comforted thinking it was just a tape recorder. Suddenly, her mind clicks that who turned it on. She gets terrified. Father also tells, I used to face the same at 3 a.m. Those demons tried to end me after the practice of exorcism. I was in threat but never lost my faith. Then Aaron plays the recording before judge. She also tells about that doctor who used to be with him at the practice of exorcism. Now he will also be witness, father tells, Emily used to utter mysterious sounds during a spiritual practice on her. She used to hit herself, Emily spoke digits 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 when father started to ask the names of demons. Once, Emily jumps off the room, spreading her hands, during, exorcism. And she sat in the stable of the horses and began to shout. But father again starts the spiritual practice but demons were trying hard to stop him. Emily used to feel fuss in her body as father marks the crucifix sign on her body while practicing exorcism. Asking the identity of demons, she uttered the digits 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then she tells the name of those six demons while screaming. They had different languages to speak including Arabic, Greek, German and Latin. After that, she continued to shriek for many hours, hearing it, the opposition lawyer of father. He says, every human being can talk in both languages. It is not a big deal. It is quite possible that her spoken languages have been read by her. That doctor does not come to give evidence in the court who was with father during spiritual practice. Aaron goes to meet him, he says, no, I am not wanting to be the part of this case. Something is scaring me, at the same time, he casts his eyes behind Aaron. It seems as there was something visible for him. He meets with an accident and dies. Here Aaron is dejected, because she cannot view a ray of hope for winning the court case. Then it is appeared that father is defamed in the entire city, and news is being printed on the newspaper against him. Father hands over a note to Aaron written by Emily. It was told that when she woke up after a few hours of exorcism, then she heard some sounds, while detecting those voices, she meets a girl of her identity. She asks that girl, why was I the only one to suffer it? That girl responds, I feel your pain. She says to her, come with me. You will be relieved from your pain. These demons will irritate you much if you stop here. But Emily continues to confront the demons, stopping there. Even she meets her death. Father says, Emily sacrifices her life to show the world while agonizing herself. But another attorney was still objecting father. Aaron speaks all of a sudden, you can suspect either father killed Emily or not. But you cannot suspect that father has helped Emily out. He keeps his nose on the grindstone to rescue Emily. You cannot decline it. After this, court announces its decision. It announces, father will surely face the music. But it is known that his announced punishment was enough in the prison which he spent during this prosecution. Now his penalty was over. Now father is at liberty. It is proved that father has not taken her life. Now it is proposed to Aaron as she should be promoted to a senior partner in law firm. But she forbids. She transferred this data ahead after searching it. The film was made on this, actually, it was a real story. That girl had been possessed by six demons, due to this she was dead during the fight. And father had practiced exorcism on her for many times. But those demons were as mighty as they did not allow anyone to rescue Emily. 
And the movie also comes to its ending here.